in Catalina 5.6 through 8. Perseus link right there. Magna dis immortalibus habenda est. Atque huic ipsi jovis datori. Antiquissimo custodi. Huius urbis gratia. All right, I'm going to stop right there. This is a heck of a sentence here. Right here we've got a pass future passive paraphrastic. Oh, yes. You know, that just makes my day. A future passive paraphrastic. Form of the uh, gerundive with the verb to be right there. Now, what you're asking yourself, and this is the way the Romans would hear this, great to the gods, the immortal gods, is to be held. All right, something's to be held. And if we look at this, we can tell it's going to be nominative, singular, feminine. So we're looking for that, and it's really down here. So I don't know why this is so far delayed, but it is connecting right up here, and it's the subject big S there, of the future passive paraphrastic. Great thanks is to be offered or held to the immortal gods. Yeah, sorry about that one. And to more datives, to this very Jupiter, the stator, the protector, most ancient guardian of this city. Look at this. Want me to circle all the datives here? Dative, 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 dative. Unbelievable. And th those are the in that's the indirect object, the recipient of the gratitude there. All right? And this, st this Jove Stator, when Cicero says this, he says, huic ipse, to this very Jove Stator, well, that is the statue of Jupiter that's right behind him in the Temple of Jupiter. So everyone who reads this thinks he's pointing, right, to Jove Stator, right? Statue of Jove Stator over there is expressing his gratitude. Why? Because of the fact that, can you believe it, quote, because of the fact that Hunk, tam titram, tam horribile, tam que infestam, rei publicae pestem, totiens jam effugimus. Okay, tam. Once, twice, thrice, followed by accusative, accusative, accusative. Those all modify pestem. And effugimus is your verb. We have fled. A destruction, this destruction, so foul, so horrible, and so ruinous to the Republic so many times now. That's why we have to be grateful to Jove, to Jupiter. Non es sapius in uno homine summa salus periclitandi rei publicae. All right, look at this. This est goes with pericletanda. Another. Woo! So, pericletanda est. Passive, paraphrastic. Oh, I love these. All right. Something must not be risked, and it's feminine. We can tell by that. And it's singular, singular, singular. What's feminine and singular? Summa salus. Okay, the highest welfare. That's your subject. The verb is pericletanda s, the future passive paraphrastic. The highest safety of the Republic is not to be risked. Sipius, that's a comparative adverb. Ooh, yeah. Not just the positive. Saipe would be often. Saipius, more often. More often, in uno homine. In one man. Nice little chunk there. Okay. Sentence eight. 
Quam Dio mihi consuli designatu Catalina insidiatus es? Non publica me presidia sed privata diligentia defendi. All right, let's do a verb, uh, a word scan. Just do a vocabulary scan. Quam Dio together as often as me consul designate Catiline. You plotted not public me guard, but private carefulness defended. All right, we see what's taking shape here. Um, here's your verb. I defended. Here's the object. Me. I defended myself. Um, and he defended himself with ablatives of means. With private carefulness. Not this ablative of means. Not with public defenses, but with private carefulness I defended myself. In other words, he didn't spend public money on it. Insidiatus S, this comes, if you look at the vocabulary, it's uh, insidior, that's a deponent verb, so forms are passive, meanings are active. You plot it against me. And it's actually a dative direct object there, sorry about that when I was consul designate. Designato means he was elected, but he hadn't taken office yet. So altogether, however many times you plotted against me, the consul designate, Catiline vocative, not with a public defense, but with private diligence, I defended myself. <laughs>